In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the sum and the product of the roots of a quadratic equation. So here are some formulas that you want to take down. Given a quadratic equation in standard form, that is in ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero form, the sum the sum of the roots, which we can call the two roots of the equation, x1 and x2, that's going to equal negative b over a. The product of the two roots, which will be x1 times x2, we're dealing with multiplication, and that's going to be positive c over a. So I'm going to write those two formulas right here. So the sum is negative b over a. And the product of the two roots is C over A. So A is going to be the number in front of the 1. B is the number in front of the 5. C is the number in front of the 6. I mean, C is 6, the constant. So I'm going to write that here. A is 1. B is 5. C is 6. So using the formula, we have the sum is going to be negative b over a. So b is positive 5, a is 1. Therefore, the sum is going to be negative 5. Now, as for the products, it's positive c over a. c is 6, a is 1. So the products, the product will be 6. Now, we can confirm these two answers if we were to actually find the two roots. So let's go ahead and factor this expression. To factor it, if you multiply these two numbers, one times six, you get six. And with that, you need to find two numbers that multiply to six, but add to the middle coefficient, five. And those two numbers will be positive two and positive three. So to factor it, it's gonna be x plus two times x plus 3. Now, using the zero product property, we're going to set each factor equal to zero. Subtracting 2 from both sides, we get that x is equal to negative 2. And for the other one, if we subtract 3 from both sides, we get that x is equal to negative 3. We can call this our first root, and this one is the second root. So the sum of the two roots, that's going to be negative 2 plus negative 3. We could see that it's equal to negative 5. Now, as for the product of the two roots, x1 times x2, that's going to be negative 2 times negative 3, and that's going to give us positive 6. So those are the two ways in which you could find the sum and product of the roots of a quadratic equation. Now, let's work on another problem, but this one is going to be a little bit harder. So let's say we have 4x squared minus 16x plus 15 is equal to 0. So given this quadratic equation, Go ahead and find the sum and the product of the two roots and confirm your answer just like we did in a previous example. So feel free to pause the video if you want to try this problem. By the way, for those of you who want more problems relating to quadratic equations, feel free to check out the links in the description section below. I'm going to be putting more related content in that section. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance. Now, in order to factor this trinomial, we're going to use something called the AC method. So we're going to multiply A and C, just like we did before. So 4 times 15 is 60. Now, we need to find two numbers that multiply to 60, but that add to the middle coefficient, negative 16. So this is going to be 10 and 6, but both will be negative. Negative 10 times negative 6 is equal to positive 60. 
but these two numbers add up to negative 16 at the same time. So now what we're going to do is we're going to replace negative 16x with negative 10x and negative 6x. The order in which we write it doesn't matter. It will still give us the same answer. We could just pick an order based on our preference. So I can write it as 4x squared minus 6x minus 10x plus 15. Or I could write it as 4x squared minus 10x minus 6x plus 15. I decided to put it this way because it's clear to see that the GCF will be 5 here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to factor by grouping. So we're going to take out the GCF, the greatest common factor, in the first two terms. And that's going to be 2x. 4x squared divided by 2x is 2x. Negative 6x divided by 2x is negative 3. Now, what's the GCF for the next two terms? What is the greatest common factor between negative 10x and 15? We could see it's 5, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out negative 5. Negative 10x divided by negative 5 is positive 2x, and positive 15 divided by negative 5 is negative 3. So that's why I chose to take out negative 5 instead of positive 5, is so that these two factors will be the same. Because they're the same, we can factor it out. So if we were to take this term and divide it by 2x minus 3, these two will cancel, leaving us with only 2x. And if we were to take all of this divided by 2x minus 3, these will cancel, leaving us only with negative 5. And so we have this. At this point, we could set each factor equal to 0 using the zero product property. 0 times anything is 0. So if one of the factors is equal to 0, the whole expression is equal to 0. Now here, I'm going to add 3 to both sides. Bring down a 2x, so I have 2x is equal to 3. Next, to separate the 2 from the x, I'm going to divide both sides by 2. And I get that x is equal to 3 over 2. So since this is our first root, we'll call it x sub 1. Now for the next one, I'm going to add 5 to both sides of the equation. And I'm going to bring down the 2x. So we have 2x is equal to 5. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 2. And our second root, we get is 5 over 2. Now, this equation is already in ax squared plus bx plus c format. But before we use those other equations, let's calculate the sum and the product. So the sum is going to be x1 plus x2. x1 is 3 over 2. x2 is 5 over 2. 3 plus 5 is 8. And 8 divided by 2 is 4. So that's the sum of the two numbers. The product, which is x1 times x2, that's going to be 3 over 2 times 5 over 2. Multiplying across, we get 3 times 5 is 15. 2 times 2 is not 2, but 4. So now let's use the formulas that we wrote. Let me say that again. Let's use the formulas that we wrote down earlier before. So we know the sum is negative b over a. And b, we can see that b is negative 16. So we have negative times negative 16. And a, the number in front of x squared, that's 4. So this is positive 16 over 4, which is equal to 4. So we can see these two answers, they match. 
And as for the product, this is positive C over A. C is 15. A is 4. And that's all we could do for that one. And we get the same answer here. So that's basically it for this video. So that's how you can find the sum in a product of the roots of a quadratic equation. And by the way, for those of you who want more example problems, I mean more related content on quadratic equations, like how to solve them, how to factor it, how to write quadratic equations given the roots, feel free to check out the links in the description section below.